Now, if you've been checking out the recent release of 5v5 gameplay for Live 18, you could definitely see that the game's improved. No question about that. But there have been some questions in regards to live shooting in relation to jump shots, and to be specific, contested jump shot success. Looking at all the footage on YouTube at first glance, you think that shooting is just too easy, right? That everyone is going to be Steph Curry here at launch splashing from deep, or even just Kobe on the contest. Well, that's not the case. Now, I was talking to project leader Dev over at EA Sports who currently works on NBA Live, and he just cleared a few things up for me in regards to shooting. Now, my first assumption was that the game was on low difficulty, since EA Play is such a casual event meant for gamers to comfortably experience new titles. And I was right. Lee confirmed that the game's difficulty was set to pro, which is the second easiest difficulty in the game. So it's understandable how and why shots are falling so easily. Also, if you check out all of the gameplay footage that was capped at EA Play and actually used by content creators, they all appear to be highlight tapes which capture the last few moments before a basket is scored. You don't really see a basket being scored followed immediately by the other team bringing the ball up court. It's literally all highlights. So we miss those defensive bumps, the stops, the fouls, and just those typical basketball plays once the ball is inbounded. So just keep that in mind. Oh, and by the way, also confirmed by my boy, Project Lee. So we can rest assured that once the full game drops, shooting will not be as easy as it looks in this gameplay footage. But I mean, think about it, right? Think about, let's say, 2K17, for example. When a lot of people are hunting badges, it's recommended, well, shooting badges in particular, it's recommended that you put the difficulty on rookie, just so it's easier for you. I mean, nobody hunts shooting badges on Hall of Fame, it's way too difficult, but, you know, the point is that it's easier to shoot when you're on a lower difficulty. Common sense. But now I'm very curious as to how the game's gonna play on the hardest difficulty possible, or the second hardest difficulty. I definitely know defense is gonna make a huge difference with those contests, with those closeouts, with all of that. And that's what I expect from Live 18. Now, I also expect the new skill gap based game to play a major factor on court in separating the most skilled from the least skilled. But what's your take on this? Voice your opinion in the comment section below. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, as we got some dope content on our channel, baby. But for now, it's your boy Mindframe Vibe City. Y'all know the deal. Make sure you keep it locked. And while you're at it, check out our last video where we actually ask an EA dev why ankle breakers occur so much in NBA Live 18. I'll see you over there, man. Peace and love, y'all. Later.